service dogs aren't even required to wear gear, right? Hello, beautiful. Thanks for clicking on today's video. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I am a service dog handler. He is sitting just off screen over here. And today I wanted to answer a very common question and that is, what do the service dog vest colors mean? I want to tackle this today and it's not as straightforward answer as a lot of us might think. Some people might think service dogs have to wear a red vest. Other people might think they have to have an orange collar or leash. Some people might think that service dogs have to be showing an ID at all times. And I'm gonna say right now that it depends. It depends on where you live and what the laws are where you live. And I am in America. So in America, we are covered by the American with Disabilities Act. And it does state very explicitly in the ADA that service dogs are not required to wear any special type of harness or gear. Well, that's pretty cut and dry. Okay, so they don't mean anything. Service dogs aren't even required to wear gear, right? But then if you are watching some of my videos about the United States service dog laws, you might have been privy to a couple times where I mentioned service dogs wearing specific colors. And I wanna go a little bit more in depth in that today. So I do want to be very clear that the federal law does say that you aren't required to wear any special type of color. You can put your dog in red, white, blue, or zebra print, whatever suits your needs. Your service dog can wear whatever you want them to wear. The training is what makes a service dog, not the gear or the identification. When it comes to the state's laws, typically there's a section about when cars are passing a service dog handler. And if that service dog is wearing like a guide harness that signals that the person is blind, or if the dog is wearing a bright colored leash and collar, then there's special rights afforded to these people that require cars to stop and allow them to pass. And this is a safety measure because typically when a dog is in a guide harness, their handler is visually impaired and typically when the dog is in a bright orange collar or leash, the handler is hearing impaired. And why do I say the orange collar for the hearing impaired? In Oklahoma, my state, they do have a provision that says signal dogs should wear an orange collar. In Maryland, their state law has a service dog license and that license is orange. They also mention the orange leash and collar, but there's a lot of states that mention the orange leash and collar combo, especially in the case of hearing dogs like Minnesota, Connecticut, Tennessee, and Virginia. But something that I thought was really interesting in Washington state law, certain towns like Buckley and Cathlamet, Washington, they have a pretty strict pit bull ban that's outrageous to me and broke my heart to read. But they also stated that aggressive dogs needed to be marked by an orange collar and leash and that it was required. This is very interesting to me that they are saying that you need to signal that your dog is aggressive with the orange leash. Whereas a lot of the service dog states say that it kind of signals a hearing alert dog. And now I'm not saying that your dog has to wear these bright orange colors if they're a hearing alert dog, but it does seem to be a pretty common theme throughout state laws. And while it's not federally required, it might be more helpful to identify your dog as such. And I think this is kind of a long-term argument is, do you admit your disability with your dog's gear? And there's a lot of disabilities that you really can't hide it. But then there's some people that just don't feel comfortable talking about it. And so putting a bright orange leash on your dog that signals that you're deaf might not be something that you're interested in. And that's why the American with Disabilities Act doesn't require that you state explicitly what your disability is because there's certain protections and a lot of people don't feel comfortable having to tell about their disability, but it also adds an extra point where people can deny you access or hold you up when you're trying to go someplace. And a lot of times when we have our service dogs, we just wanna be treated like everybody else. Let us just go about our business. And if every single time we went to a store, they stopped us and required us to have a bright orange collar or required us to show an identification, that can cause a lot of stress. And if that happened every single place we went, it would be a problem. I also wanna mention that certain programs that train service dogs have specific gear they put their service dogs in. And so if you've heard of the Canine Companions for Independence, when they are training their service dog, they wear a yellow vest. 
And once that service dog has graduated from their program, they wear a blue vest. And this isn't a hard and fast rule for all service dog programs. Some programs have orange vests or red vests, but there is no requirement for a certain type of vest color for your service dog. You can dress them in whatever colors you want. I have found different resources that talk about colors of leashes, and this typically applies to regular dogs, but it seems like there's been some initiative to try to define certain leash colors for different for different types of dogs. And so a red leash under this system is signaling caution, like maybe your dog's not friendly or maybe they just need extra space. A green leash means your dog is friendly. A yellow leash might mean the dog is up for adoption or might mean that the dog is nervous and to approach slowly. A blue leash under this system might mean that the dog is training or that they're training to be a service animal. And an orange leash under this system is a signal for no dogs, that your dog isn't friendly with other dogs. So here, an orange leash means the dog might not be friendly with other dogs, whereas in another place, the orange leash might mean they're for a deaf or hard of hearing dog, or in another state, it might mean they're an aggressive dog. They say under this system that a white leash might signal that the dog is deaf or blind, and a purple leash means do not feed my dog. <laughs> so it really is a kind of crazy thing to think about, all of the different colors, and there is no meaning. At the end of the day, dress your dog in what you want to dress them like. But I wanted to talk about this because I know a lot of us say, hey, any color, but there are instances where different color leashes are written into the state law. And we could argue all day long about state law versus federal law. But at the end of the day, I want to open this conversation up and let me know what you think about the different colors and what you think should or shouldn't be written into the law. Let me know if you learned something in today's video and if you have any video requests that you'd like to see me cover in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.